Overnight, the bodies of Jesse and Luke were moved to the morgue and detectives will talk to staff there today about when a post-mortem can happen. But it's still very much an active crime scene on the ground here in Bungonia. Police tape is up. This area has been cordoned off since one o'clock yesterday afternoon when the bodies were found. This morning, several police officers and the dog squad has arrived to conduct more line searches for any additional evidence they might find. And yesterday, we also saw Mr. Baird's family come and visit the site. They left the area around 7.30 last night. Just an absolutely heartbreaking situation, but hopefully they were able to get some closure. And I understand that the um, other victims' family chose not to visit the site. Isaac, where you are at the moment in Bungonia, it's at the road where the bodies were found. What can you tell us about the area? Yes, that's right. So I'm a few hundred metres down from where the bodies were found. There's an active search happening in that area at the moment. It's very dense bushland. It's your quintessential Australian landscape driving into any rural town. Bungonia is a small country town, a population of between three and 400 people. I had the privilege of meeting some of the residents uh, during very different circumstances a few years ago and they're very warm, welcoming, inviting people. So it must be very strange and harrowing for them to have you know, one of their main roads closed off due to an active crime scene all day when all morning we have seen cars, including school buses, uh, turned around here. Isaac Naruzi there in Bungonia in New South Wales. Thank you. Now there has been an outpouring of love and grief for the missing couple, Luke Davies and Jesse Baird, amid criticism of the New South Wales Police Commissioner's response to their alleged murders. Reporter Sean Tarrant Goodwin joins me now from outside the couple's home in Sydney where floral tributes are growing. Sean, a vigil has been held for the couple. That's right, Gemma. Late yesterday, friends of Luke Davies and Jesse Baird organised an intimate vigil down at Bronte Beach uh, in Sydney's eastern suburbs, which is said to be a, an important place, particularly for Luke Davies. Uh, it was a very intimate occasion. The media were requested not to be present and we respected that, but we understand friends came together and talked and shared memories of the couple and uh, in particular of, of Luke Davies. Uh, his friends had organised that particular event. Me meanwhile, behind me at Jesse Baird's home here in Paddington, there's a growing number of floral tributes and messages of love and grief for, for the couple. Uh, and also online on social media, many of their friends sharing their absolute shock and sadness over what they're saying is just a profound loss. And Sean, New South Wales police have been uninvited from Mardi Gras amid the ongoing investigation. What has the police response been? Well, we know that a couple of days ago the Mardi Gras board met and decided to request New South Wales police not to, uh, to, to march in Mardi Gras this year. Uh, police responded to that initially saying that they were disappointed by that decision, that they want to engage with the LD LGBTIQ plus community, especially at this time. Uh, and they had opened up discussions. There was a meeting yesterday between the police commissioner and Mardi Gras representatives over whether there's a possibility for police to march still in some way uh, in the Mardi Gras parade. Uh, the police minister, the New South Wales police minister Yasmin Catley, says that she would like to see some sort of solution re reached here where police can still march in the parade. We are in discussions with the Mardi Gras board and uh, yesterday we had some you know, very respectful conversations and there was certainly very good will at the table. I won't speak on behalf of the AFP but what I will say is we'll continue to have those conversations with the board today. And the New South Wales Police Minister Karen Webb has copped some criticism and come under fire in recent days over some of her language and her handling of this and some of the, the communications around this. Uh, there's been accusations that some of her wording and her choice of phrases has been insensitive. Uh, she responded to that this morning on the ABC News Breakfast saying that her focus has been on the families.
that was a comment not related to any of this, and it's uh, and I apologise if I upset people, but it's certainly yesterday, and my focus as a commissioner is to lead this organisation. My job is to support the police officers in the resources that they need into solving this crime in particular, but more broadly, and as I said, working with all of our communities, but particularly the LGBTIQ plus community, um, to restore um, what is apparent is a fractured relationship. And it's a very raw time for them, and it was mm. a very important meeting that I had with them yesterday. Mm. Now, this comes as the news of the discovery of the bodies of Luke Davies and Jesse Baird begins to settle in in, this, in Sydney's LGBTIQ community and among their friends and families who are coming together to come to terms with a profound loss. Gemma? Sean Tarrick Goodwin there in Sydney.